children born with ear deformities could soon receive a prosthetic ear for less than the cost of a pair of glasses, thanks to new technology being developed in Brisbane. It's hoped the prosthetic organs will reduce hearing loss. Mayor Van Mulligan hasn't a care in the world. The lively two-year-old is unaware her left ear is deformed, known as microtia. She's full of confidence, she's full of love and life and I don't want to take that away from her. But her parents had dreaded the day she would ask why she was different. It's obviously going to be heartbreaking but the fact that we can actually say no, it's OK, you will have an ear. The congenital condition can lead to hearing problems so researchers are working to make 3D printed ears to stop hearing loss. Nobody's ever 3D printed ear prosthetics before in the world. In the world. The project will involve two stages. Initially, a 3D prosthetic ear will be made in medical silicon and attached magnetically or with surgical glue. Eventually, researchers will make the ear using cells from the child. The organ will be grown in a bioreactor and surgically planted back into the child along with hearing technology. I think the ability to 3D print an ear prosthetic will cost the public less than a pair of glasses. It is unimaginable that in my lifetime we would have this beautiful new prosthetic ear and then the biofabricated ear. Researchers will also use technology like phones to scan a child's ear and develop the 3D model using motion technology. We can then feed that information into a custom built 3D printer and we can print that ear on the spot. For Mayor Van Mulligan, it's a life-changing opportunity. Alison Horn, ABC News.